In a story that's uh, certain to develop, Edcon CEO Grant Patterson says the company is very close to announcing a deal that will see the company recapitalized. While the Sunday Times reports that the retailer is debt ridden and that more than 140,000 jobs are on the line. The South African Federation of Trade Unions labelled the p possibility of retail giant Edcon being liquidated as a national disaster. The retail giant which owns Edgar's Jet and CNA has been under financial strain for some time now. The company has been operating in the country for almost 90 years and its CEO says a new deal is imminent. It's been widely reported on that Edcon now has been experiencing some financial troubles for several years. We've been working hard on bringing all stakeholders together and in fact we think we're very close to announcing a deal that will see Edcon recapitalized for several years so that we can get around the important business of restoring it to its former glory. Patterson says in the short term the retailer needs at least about 1 billion rands in funding for the next year. It is understood that the company has even approached the Public Investment Corporation for help. The PIC is owned by government and holds two trillion rands in assets made up largely of government pension funds. In the short term, Edcon needs about a billion rand of funding over the next year. Thereafter, maybe another two billion rand. We have been speaking to all of our stakeholders, suppliers, landlords, bankers, shareholders, as well as some parts of government. And we have been encouraged by the level of support everyone has for the business, how, ever, how much everyone believes in the business. And I do believe with that support, we'll be able to be successful. In an announcement note to investors in September this year, the retailer warned that business conditions remained very weak, placing pressure on sales, volumes and profitability. The retail gross profit margin for the 53-week period increased by only 80 basis points to 37.3% in 2018 from 36.5% in 2017. The group also saw a 59 million rand increase in net bed debts written off because of weak collection processes and macroeconomic strain on customers. I want to assure you that the brands Edgar's, Jet, CNA and Thank You are there to serve you. I think and hope that you've noticed we've improved those stores greatly. I would really encourage you to go out, have a look at the stores, uh, see if there's um, products that uh, you like and support us over the holiday season. Saftu says the company going under will have a negative impact on a weak economy that is already unable to create jobs. Diabo Seto, SAPC News, Johannesburg.